It is inhumane to have people live in cardboard boxes on highways and subway tunnels on tracks on streets. That's inhumane. Mayor Adams giving more details on his plan to dismantle makeshift shelters and homeless encampments set up by the homeless across the city. The mayor is asking city agencies to do an analysis block by block, district by district, neighborhood by neighborhood, to identify exactly where the encampments are and then execute a plan to give services to the homeless. The mayor expects to start within two weeks. We're going out with teams. We're going to first put up a 24 to 48 hour notice telling people that they can't live in encampments like this. We're going to bring mental health professionals, Department of Homeless Services, and give them services. In January of 2021, the city said 1,100 people were living in parks and on the streets, a number seen by many advocates as a gross undercount. The city also says 50,000 homeless people stay in city shelters. Advocates say many homeless consider the shelters unsafe, and they say removing encampments only makes people go from one spot to another. Let me tell you what I say to the advocates that, that feel that way. There are 8.8 .8 million people in this city, 30 million opinions, but there's one mayor. I must deal with the homeless crisis on our, on our streets. The mayor acknowledges that officials can't force anyone to go to a homeless shelter. This planned dismantling of homeless encampments comes one month after the mayor announced a push to remove homeless people from the city's subway system because of assaults and other aggressive behavior. We want them in shelters. The shelters are extremely safer for people who are homeless. And an increasing number of cities across the country are trying to do this to, you know, get their cities rid of the homeless encampments. Encampments they include L.A., San Francisco, Seattle, and Washington D.C. We are live on the Upper West Side. McGee Hickey, Pix 11 News. Back to you, Kai.